Good morning, everybody. Uh, I hope you're all well this morning. And I do know from the feeling one got in the room that everybody had an enjoyable night last night. Um, anyway, we have to get on with our final piece of work. And uh, you remember that yesterday evening, um, the members of the Assembly agreed the wording of the ballot paper on fixed term parliaments. The members agreed on four distinct questions, and a copy of these are now available online for those watching at home. And in fact, they will be up on the uh, screen for the members, although you have a hard copy. Um, now, I'm going to briefly revisit the wording of each of those agreed ballots before we commence this morning's voting. Question one. Question one is posed as two statements, with the members being requested to select one. The options are as follows. Um, the current, sorry, sorry. The current um, constitutional position as regards the dissolution of the All Aaron should be changed, or the current constitutional position as regards the dissolution of the All Aaron should not be changed. There are the two options. In terms of reporting for this question, you are asked to mark X in one box. Um, a majority, and therefore the recommendation of the Assembly, will be determined by reference to the total votes cast in favour of both options, with the answer, um, with the highest number of votes, being deemed to be the majority. Um, now, just it's important that I re-emphasise, and we, we had this, you heard this several times yesterday, it, um, the, a change in the current position would have to be effected by an amendment of the co Constitution following a referendum. <coughs> now, um, during yesterday afternoon's deliberations, there was a discussion as to whether the ballot paper should be sequential in nature and specifically whether the outcome of this first question should be known before, removing on, uh, before moving on to the remaining questions and the members voted to agree that all four questions will be balloted on and the results of all four will be made public and reported to the Oireachtas, even if the majority view of the Assembly is to retain the status quo in the first question. Moving on to question two, uh, and that will be on the screen as well, and um, it asks the following question. If the current constitutional position as regards the dissolution of the All Aaron is changed, how long should the parliamentary term be? Three options are provided for the members. Uh, option one is four years, option two, five years, and option three, prefer not to state an opinion, which means that a, 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 any member uh, needn't pick between uh, four years and five years. Um, and uh, members are asked to mark an X against one of these options. The option that receives the highest number of votes will constitute the recommendation of the Assembly in respect of this question. Uh, moving on to question three, and that question um, poses a question which is prefaced as follows. If the current constitutional position as regards the dissolution of uh, Dáil Éireann is changed, that's the preface, and then the um, the question involves three options. Um, three options are provided for the members to select in respect of possible changes. The three options are, option one, there should be an absolutely fixed term. Um, that is to say, one that cannot be cut short under any circumstances. Then option two, there should be a fixed term, but one that can be cut sh short subject to certain conditions. And then finally, three, the third option, prefer not to state an opinion. Members are asked to mark X against one of the three options provided. The option that receives the highest number of votes will constitute the recommendation of the Assembly in respect of the question. Question four, and that will be on the screen as well. Question four concerns the potential introduction of fixed term parliaments, which can be cut short, and is asking members to consider which political actors should have a role in authorising an early general election. The question asks, if the current constitutional position as regards the dissolution of the All Aaron is changed and there is a fixed term which can be cut short subject to certain conditions, whose approval should be needed um, for an early general election to be held? And four possible actors are then labelled from A to D uh, and they are a, the Cabinet, and uh, as one would expect, that includes the Taoiseach. B, 
be a majority of the members of Dáil Éireann, um, a super majority of the members of Dáil Éireann, uh, with an example given two thirds, and then D, the president. And members are asked to mark X in, uh, in either the yes or no, or prefer not to state an, op an, uh, an opinion on each line. So you, you vote in respect, you express your view by vote in respect of each of the options A, B, C and D. The result will be, sorry, the result for each will constitute a recommendation of the Assembly. Now that completes the presentation of the ballot paper and we're now going to proceed to the voting. But um, once the votes are, have been cast, the counting of the votes uh, by John Fitzpatrick and his team who are here again this morning, um, in accordance with our voting rules, we, have two, we will have two members of the Assembly observe the count at all times. And um, just uh, to fulfil that requirement, I would now like to ask four volunteers for this purpose. Uh, the, the, four, the, the, the reason for four being to allow for rotation, so you can go and get a cup of coffee or whatever. So could I have four hands up? Thanks very much. Um, now, I want to remind the members um, that there are a number of further documents for them to complete this morning, and I want just to briefly mention each um, to remind you um, to complete them. Um, and uh, you, you, can, you will have an opportunity to complete them while the voting is going on. And the first is the final survey by David Farrell as part of the ongoing research that he is conducting on behalf of the Assembly. And th th that, that is, is very important. Um, the second is the final reflective exercise in which the members are invited to provide the Secretariat with their impressions of the process. Members will recall that a copy of this exercise was provided to them earlier this week to give them time to consider how they wish to complete it. And again, it's important, there's no, uh, it's, it, it's not mandatory to complete it, but I would strongly urge uh, all the members here to complete it because it, it, it will be of assistance. Um, and then finally, you, you've got an, a third form, um, ancillary recommendations on fixed term parliaments. Uh, this form has been provided in response to a suggestion which uh, came from the members yesterday to allow them to record any additional views they might have on this weekend's topic. And then um, uh, well, now perhaps you'd collect your ballot papers and we will remain in public session during the voting, but of course voting is in private. Um, but um, we'll, we will go into private session uh, for the counting of the votes. Uh, we will resume at 12.15 for the announcement of the results, or thereabouts. Uh, I can't stand over that. So, 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 so collect the ballot papers now. Thank you very much. They're just on their way in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I think it was a worthwhile exercise.